Thanks for joining us this morning as we take a look at racing from throughout the week. What a big week it has been in uh, all of the three codes of racing. We had, of course, the Blue Diamond Stakes and Futurity Stakes Day yesterday at Caulfield. Uh, the Greyhound Racing this week, four semi-finals of the Moomba Australian Cup with the grand final to be held tomorrow night. One of the richest Greyhound races in the world. And then, of course, that marvellous night of harness racing in Mooney Valley last night. It really was a tremendous evening's entertainment with the heats of the Inter-Dominion and also the Inter-Dominion Trotters Grand Final with the clash between Sir Castleton and Scotch Notch. And we'll be taking a look at the highlights from uh, all of that in just a moment here on World of Sport Replay. Well, let's go back to last night now and take a look at Tats Lotto as uh, the numbers fell here on seven. Draw number 377. And the Division 1 prize pool, $1.921 million. And there's a strange set of numbers, if ever you've seen one. In numerical order, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16 and 18. And the supplementary number was 21. In Super 66 last night, the numbers fell in this order. 4, 2, 4, 9, 0 and 0. So good luck with Tats Lotto and Super 66. And I think with Tats Lotto, you'd need a pin to pick those numbers. 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 18. Anyway, good luck and hope uh, some of that $1.921 million will come your way. We'll take a break and be back to look at Blue Diamond and Futurity Stakes Day yesterday at Caulfield in just a moment. This Monday, Greyhound Racing from Olympic Park. Catch the action as Seven Sport brings you the highlights of the richest Greyhound event in the world with a prize pool of $100,000. From 11 o'clock this Monday night, the Moomba Australian Cup, only on Seven. Is yesterday, but the sun came out a bit later on, and it was an excellent day of racing with the Blue Diamond Stakes, of course, the highlight, and also the running of the Futurity Stakes. In the first race on the card, the Schweppes handicap over 1,200 metres. Say Like Bell was the popular pick here at 3 to 1. There was also good money for Greenwich Pike. And let's pick up the action from Caulfield yesterday with the accurate one, Bill Collins. And they're racing. Greenwich Pike began well over on the outside. Mulga Hayes was very slowly away. Honest Rose showing a lot of speed's gone up to join Greenwich Pike from Astolfina and Duncan Lass. And they were followed then back behind them. So Like Bell now moving up to join the leading division also. And uh, then a little bit further behind them is Frosty Locks, Mulga Hayes making some ground, Chilla Queen and Chai to the last two. At the 800, so like Bella length to Greenwich Pike uh, on the outside and in between them Honest Rose keeping Greenwich Pike wide. Two lengths to Astolfina the outside and they're followed by Duncan Lass and Rest Cove in the centre. A length further back, Hart Lass followed by Frosty Locks, Chilla Queen driving up on the inside of Mulga Hayes and Chai. On the turn, 500 out, and so like Bell, just in front of Honest Rose, Greenwich Pike hasn't had a lot of luck, Astolfina's going all right, so is Rest Cove looking for a run, and then Chil Chiller Queen being pulled out in the straight, and so like Bell struggling as Greenwich Pike and Honest Rose went past it, Rest Cove pulled to the outside, and they're followed by Astolfina, but Greenwich Pike's taken the lead, with 200 to go, drew a length in front of Honest Rose, are gradually coming after it, Astolfina, but Greenwich Pike's got a big enough lead to win. And Greenwich Pike punched out, goes on to win by a length and a half. Second placing went to Astolfina, third Honest Rose from Rest Cove. Then came Duncan Lass behind them with Chide, next Chilla Queen, Mulga Hayes. Well back in the field uh, towards the rear then would be Frosty Locks and so like Bell tired very badly to also finish near the rear. Easy victory to the top eight in the first event. Greenwich Park at 13 to four from Astolfina coming home well at eight to one. Honest Rose at 33s and the favourite well back so like Bell at three to one. In the second event, the Tranquil Star Stakes over 1400 metres. The favourite was Delightful Bell at six to four. Racing. And they've jumped away in a pretty good line. Reno's best dropped out to the rear early and first out Golden Revenue from Delightful Bell and then Love a Kiss Club Flush Hello Mary Lou. Quinton Lass on the outside and uh, they were followed back behind those horses then Daily Spirit. Reno's best is back towards the rear when they settle down into stride. And uh, now Ruby Azar's gone up on the outside about third. Golden Revenue's rider puts the brakes on it, wants to race. A half a length at the thousand to Delightful Bell and Ruby Azar also wanting to race has now sprinted round them to take Golden Revenue on. Delightful Bell drops in behind them third, two lengths away, two to Love a Kiss, two to Club Show. Then Quinton Lass, Daily Spirit, a couple to Hello Mary Lou, followed by Reno's Best and Lady Bruin. Golden Revenue won't surrender the lead as they head down towards the 600. About a head in front of Ruby Azar, Delightful Bell with the run of the race two lengths away. One and a half then to Love a Kiss and Quinton Lass making some ground round the outside from Club Show, Daily Spirit and a gap to Hello Mary Lou. 
on the turn and Clark pulls out as he saw Quinton Lass coming round the outside on the favourite and Golden Revenue led from Ruby Azar, Delightful Bell moving up to it, Quinton Lass made the turn badly, in the straight Golden Revenue in front, Delightful Bell going out after it, Ruby Azar behind them and then Lover Kiss, Delightful Bell took the lead, on the outside Club Fush a bit of a danger is running on fairly well but Delightful Bell broke clear now and Delightful Bell's going down to the line to win the second favourites home, Delightful Bell wins a length and a half to Lover Kiss, a neck away then Club Show. Fourth Golden Revenue from Ruby Azar, Hello Mary Lou, Quinton Lass who hung in the straight, then Daily Spirit, Lady Bruin, and last home was Reno's Best. Delightful Bell, the favourite at six to four, and punters going quite well after the first two races. Lover Kiss second at seven to one, and third was Club Flush at 12 to one. The Stanley Plate was the third over 2,000 metres, and the popular pick was uh, Clavelli Bay, Lester Pig at the rider, and he was the favourite at seven to four. They're racing. And uh, Clavelli Bay jumped in the air a little bit and Great Poet was the first to get going from Show Glen, a way well playful monarch from Flying Eskimo. Then Stroll dropping in on the rails, over on the outside of them now Gothic Steeple. They're followed by Silver Cavalier and behind those horses Mighty Shane on the inside of Clavelli Bay fighting for his head. Then uh, Approbation back second last at this stage, uh, Clavelli Bay back at the rear now with Greek Note. As they climb the hill to the 1400 and a great pole in front with Silver Cavalier joining it and there's no pace on. A length and a half away is Show Glen and on the inside flying Eskimo, a length and a half Gothic Steeple, Playful Monarch, the rails. Then Approbation and Stroll and a length further back Mighty Shane, a length further back again Greek Note and a half length Clavelli Bay. Over the hill, eight lengths cover the field here and Great Poet led a little over a length here to Silver Cavalier. A half length back on the inside, Flying Eskimo and one to show Glen. A length further back then, Playful Monarch, the rails. Next on the outside of them came uh, Gothic Steeple from Stroll, Approbation. Then Greek Note further back, Mighty Shane and Clavelli Bay still last of all with a thousand to go, about ten off the lead. Down towards the 800 and Great Poet in front, about a half length Silver Cavalier. There hasn't been any pace on, one to Flying Eskimo, show Glen. Approbation letting go round the outside with Gothic Steeple now charging towards the leaders. Playful Monarch trying to get out. Then came behind them Greek Note, Clavelli Bay trying to get up in the centre from Stroll. 600 out, Show Glen took the lead now, a half length Silver Cavalier and Great Poet. Playful Monarch's gone up very quickly and Clavelli Bay, well he's back second last doing nothing. As they came to the home turn, Show Glen about a length and a half clear now from on the outside. Playful Monarch getting clear. Then Great Poet, Silver Cavalier, further back Greek Note and Clavelli Bay went right off the track but show Glen race three lengths in front with 200 to go in second placing playful monarch and they're followed by silver cavalier clavelli bay running on when it's all over it's playful monarch getting to show Glen with 100 meters to go uh, show Glen ahead in front playful monarch grabbing it on the line and got up playful monarch a short half head to show Glen. third placing to flying eskimo followed by stroll and clavelli bay Further back, Greek Note, Silver Cavalier, behind them, Approbation, Mighty Shane, Great Poet finished near the rear of the field and Gothic Steeple has run last. Good to see Mick Gauchy back in the winning list. Playful Monarch getting up in the last top to score at 6 to 1. Second, Show Glen 25 to 1. Third, Flying Eskimo 12 to 1. And the favourite, Clavelli Bay, got a mile out of his ground and raced a little ungenerously at 7 to 4. The Futurity Stakes, one of the big ones of the day. Race 4 over 1,400 metres. And the consistent sprinter River Ruff was the popular pick at 13 to 8. Racing. River Ruff bounced out a length in front on the inside from Keepers and Copper Rocket and French Current going up quickly now to be second. Red Tempo just behind them with Daybreak Lover and then Kiamare and Testimony back near the rear with Viet Chevelle. Over the hill, River Ruff in front, he doesn't really want to be there and Copper Rocket and French Current have joined him now, a length to Bin Binger and a half to Red Tempo. Two lengths further back then came Keepers followed by Testimony, Daybreak Lover deep from Viet Chevelle and last of all Kiamare. French Current and Copper Rocket went to the lead at the 800, a length and a half River Ruff dropping in behind them third, then Bin Binger. One to Red Tempo, a length and a half Testimony, Keepers, two to Daybreak Lover, two to each of Alan Kiamare last. 700 out, French current about a half length now to River Ruff who's gone up second on his outside Bin Binger, Copper Rocket, the rails one to Red Tempo, a length into Keepers and they were followed further back in the field, Daybreak Lover, Vichavel to the outside from Kiamari and Testimony's broken down. On the turn, French current a half to River Ruff from Bin Binger, Copper Rocket, Red Tempo, Vichavel, 
then keepers Daybreak Lover into the straight Kia Mare. French Current led at the 300, River Ruff called on to go out after him and Red Tempo putting in his claim. There followed by Beach of Albin Binga, River Ruff got to French Current, Red Tempo coming at the pair of them and Beach of El getting a split in the centre. River Ruff in front with 100 to go, Beach of El's trying hard, River Ruff in front, he's stopping, Beach of El's grabbing him and River Ruff I think. I think River Ruff, but it's very close. Beach of L flying. Uh, just behind them was Red Tempo and Kia Mare, who rattled home. Then came a French Current there with Copper Rocket and Daybreak Lover, Keepers and Bin Binga. And uh, Testimony has broken down and hasn't completed the course. A short half head, the winning margin, and Beach of L just put its bib in front right on the line to get up at 7 to 2 from River Ruff. Gallant in defeat second, 13 to 8 favourite, and third placing to Red Tempo at 13 to 4. And then it was time for the big one of the day, the Blue Diamond Stakes over 1,200 metres, one of the richest two-year-old classics in Australia, and the brilliant grey, let's get physical, the popular pick at 7 to 4. Light racing. And they've jumped away in a pretty good line. Let's get physical, one of the first to get going. Seeger's begun very well today. True version up there with the leaders in the early stages of the race and a touch of genius has raced up to join. Let's get physical. Sudden is handy, fourth or fifth on the fence and Desilante getting through on the inside of all of them from Beach Gown. Then Eminency, take your partner further back on the fence. Acumen is trapped very deep at this stage from Mascot and well back is Pam Feel and Schick Prince back at the rear of the field. Swinging down to the 600 metres and touch of genius and Desilante and let's get physical, the three of them in line. A length and a half sudden with the run of the race from Beach Gown. Seeger dropping out of it then acumen followed by beach gown take your partner giving them a big start from true version blazing effigy and golden twig on the corner let's get physical out wide a narrow leader uh, led about a half length into the straight and dashed away let's get physical let go got two and a half lengths in front sudden's gone into second placing and acumen running on well down the outside let's get physical clear sudden and acumen are starting to peg it back let's get physical however in front acumen trying hard let's get physical the leader acumen coming at it let's get physical in front and wins it let's get physical and neck to acumen three lengths to sudden third from true version and take your partner pam field made up a lot of ground next from eminency and beach gown they were followed further back in the field golden twig uh, with it, um, Stockwell Lass on the outside. Uh, behind them, Seagar, Schick Prince. Drop, mascot was next. Touch of Genius dropped right out of it to be one of the tail enders. And last of all, Desolante. Well, he was the only horse who went into the race with an unbeaten record, and he came out with that record intact. And I don't think too many people begrudge the win for Gary Murphy on Let's Get Physical at 7 to 4 favourite. Acumen second, running home well at 25 to 1, and third place into Sudden at 11 to 1. The TS Carline Cup race, six third leg of the Quadrilla, over about 2,000 metres. The favourite Noble Pier at 2 to 1. Away they go. My Dulcinea and No Pier began best on the inside with I Will, and there followed then by Cromarty Bay. Affinity got squeezed and dropped out to last. No pace on as they go up towards the 1800. My Dulcinea is going to lead them about a half to No Pier. Penny Edition pulling up in third place, three deep. It might go to the lead now. Cromarty Bay next on the inside. Anchor has caught about two or three deep on the outside of those horses now. With I Will there, and then two links to Astralin, Peckham, I guess, and last of all, Affinity. They go up to the 1400, Penny Edition in front, slowing them up to a walk at this stage. And it was the leader as they started to climb the hill. Um, on the outside there, I think it's Anchor a second. The boys lost his cap. My Dulcinea a third, a length and a half, no peer fourth. Then Cromarty Bay, I will on its outside, a length and a half, Astralin pulling very hard from Peckham against and a length to Affinity. 1,200 to go on top of the hill, Penny Edition, three parts of a length in front to Ankara. A length, and, a length away, my Dulcinea, two lengths to No Pier, one to Cromarty Bay, a half I will, two lengths to Astral and Peckham Agast, and a length and a half to Affinity. Past the 1,000, Penny Edition, a little over length in front of Ankara, got the drop on him at the moment from my Dulcinea. A length and a half to the grey No Pier, who's travelled beautifully from I will, Astral and Affinity coming three and four deep around them now. Then Cromarty Bay, Peckham, I guess they've packed right up at the 700. And uh, here we see going to the lead, I will from Astralin, who's followed it round the outside. On the rails, Penny Edition, two to Affinity. No Pier lost his place, but is starting to go again. And then My Dulcinea. On the corner, 500 out. 
And I will out three deep with Astral and Penny Edition Affinity pull four deep and no peer looking for the run and that's it, six of them there. Into the straight, Penny Edition, Anchorer on the outside, I will, Astral and Wider out and no peer trying to get out, Affinity can't go on. Astral and on the outside moved up to take the lead, 200 to go from I will, Affinity running on fairly well on the outside, it's Astral in just in front from I will, battling back and Affinity and Astral in front as they near the line and Astral in's going to win it. Astral in a half head to Affinity. Third placing's gone to I Will from Peckham, I guess. No peer, very disappointing next. Then Penny Edition followed further back in the field then uh, by Ankara, who dropped right out of it. And uh, then Cromarty Bay and my Dulcinera. Well, Astral in successful at 12 to 1, just holding on to beat Affinity at 4 to 1. And definitely the winning move for Astral in was about the 600 where he whipped around the field. I will running third at six to one and the favourite Noble Pier disappointing in the run home at two to one. In the Herald Sprint, race seven on the card over 1,200 metres. There'd been no joy for Lester Piggott to this stage of the day, but uh, once again, he was on the favourite high signal at six to four. And near the inside, high signal, Solitaire Love got away well with Bullion Broker, Pride of Kalina going fast, span the land wider out. Kentish over on the extreme outside and Miner's Man is up with the leading division too. Great battle here, finely tuned, going up on the inside of Span the Land and Sender Burglar. They were followed by Kentish, Miner's Man, high signalling on the rails about fourth or fifth. Pride of Kalina is with it and they were followed a little further back then. Uh, by Conrad Hilton in that bunch of horses. King Delamere is back second last at this stage and Mazorksky's only in front of about four or five. Down near the turn and high signal, Piggott's got up on the inside and high signal's gone up to join the leaders, finely tuned, span the land on the outside as they swing to the corner and uh, making the turn, Sir Stook and they were followed then by uh, on the inside, Solitaire Love. But high signal came round the turn like a greyhound for Piggott. He's in front of finely tuned, then Solitaire Love Pride of Kalina looking a danger, getting out, so is Conrad Hilton, and down the outside of the track, here's Kentish. Pride of Kalina got past High Signal, uh, High Signal battling back, Bullion Broker getting through, and Eureka Gold the outside. Kentish put its head in front, Eureka Gold grabbing it on the line. Kentish, I reckon, a nose to Eureka Gold. Either Pride of Kalina or Mazorgsky third from High Signal, who failed to run on from Bullion Broker. Then came Conrad Hilton out wide, a miner's man. Uh, well back King Delamere with hand painted solitaire love, sender burglar, finely tuned and they were followed by Span the Land, Split the Booty, Sir Stook and back at the rear of the field, Soldier Schweck. Well after several looks at the print the judge couldn't separate them. Kentish at 16 to 1, Eureka Gold 25 to 1, a dead heat in race 7 and Pride of Kalina 3rd at 12 to 1 and High Signal given every chance by Piggott weakening at six to four. And Lester Pickett was on the favourite in the final event, the Salisbury Welter, Cat of Nine Tails at seven to two. Racing. And Glenn Morrison first out from Lightning Bow and Nicholas John away well with Cat of Nine Tails. Mozzie Bite the outside of Devil Dodger, Lakeworth driving towards the lead from Fast and Furious. Then straight approval next, Ollie's Decree, Ikea out deep from Cynical, followed by Dance Boy, Tajour Mio and Blue Prelate. At the 1300 now, Glenn Morriston out a length and a half to Lake Worth and a half Cat of Nine Tails, a length Mozzie Bite, a half Fast and Furious. Two to Lightning Bow, straight approval, two and a half Ollie's Decree, Devil Dodger, two to Cynical, then Ikea. Next to Jour Mio and they're followed by Nicholas John getting back to the rear of the field with Dance Boy and Blue Prelate. A thousand out down the side, Glenn Morriston a length Lake Worth and a neck to Cat of Nine Tails in the box seat, a half Mozzie Bite. Trying to get between them fast and furious. They're at about three lengths in front of straight approval, Lightning Bow. Then Ollie's Decree and Ikea wide, both making ground. Three to Devil Dodger. Well back, Cynical, Dance Boy, Blue Prelate, Tajour, Mio and Nicholas John. 600 out on the turn, Glenn Morrison, a length to Lake Worth. Mozzie by three deep, Ikea four wide, Cat of Nine Tails looking for the run. Ollie's Decree hooked out fast and furious, still trying to get through from state approval and a gap to Dance Boy. On the corner, Glenn Morrison, a half length only to Lake Worth. Cat of Nine Tails trying to get out. Then Fast and Furious to the outside from Mozzie Bite and behind them straight approval and Ikea. Lake Worth and Fast and Furious got to the leader now at the 200. They're fighting it out and they're clear of straight approval and Ollie's decree the outside from Dance Boy. Fast and Furious got to the lead near the line and Fast and Furious comes away to win. A length to Lake Worth, Glenn Morriston third, then Ollie's decree and Dance Boy from straight approval. A long way back in the field to Jormio. Cat of Nine Tails had every chance. Then Blue Prelate, Ikea, Nicholas John, followed by Devil Dodger, Cynical, well back in the field with Mozzie Bite, and Lightning Bow was last. 
Well, the amazing part about that is that Jeff Murphy wanted Lisa to pick a ride Fast and Furious, but he got on Cat of Nine Tails, which weakened badly out of the place, and Fast and Furious got there at 9 to 2 from Lakeworth at 16s and Glen Morriston 50 to 1. The doubles from Caulfield yesterday, the extra double, 2 and 9, $6.25. Two daily doubles with the dead heat, five and seven paid $46.50 and the other double, five and nine, paid $30.95. Two quadrellas, of course, nine, five, four and nine, paid $1,309.15 and nine, five, four and seven, paid $3,038.50. In Sydney yesterday, the extra double, three and one, $16.50. The daily double, eight and six, $20.45. In Adelaide, two and one in the extra, $28.80. The daily double, 12 and four, $24.80. Provincial racing at Geelong, the extra, three and one, $8.80. Daily double on one and four, $37.40. And the quadrilla, one, three, four and one, $209.20. And, and that was racing as seen by Channel 7 cameras yesterday on Blue Diamond Stakes Day at Caulfield. Back to take a look at Greyhound Racing after this break. <laughs> the